So microphones, admittedly not the most interesting subject to talk about, but they are probably just as important, if not more important than good video quality. Me personally, if a video has bad audio, then I really do struggle to watch it. It totally switches me off from watching the video. Good audio is absolutely, to me at least, essential to any video or content creation. So Joby jumped into the audio market about this time last year where they introduced some new microphones like, like a wireless system to compete with Rode mainly and this is their sort of second go at it and they've obviously been working hard over the last year or so because this is so far a really good microphone and from what I've heard and tested just initially I've been really impressed with it. Now it's got some features that make it really stand out from other microphones out there on the market of the similar price range and the similar design. First of all it's got a USB connection which allows it to connect to multiple devices so if you're not making videos with a camera you can connect this to a computer, you can connect this to an action camera like the Action 3 or you can connect this to a mobile phone device. That in itself makes this a really versatile option for recording audio, recording any kind of video, whether you're doing podcasts, whether you're doing live streams, whether you're just recording for fun with the family with your mobile phone, this could be a really great option. The other thing I really like about it, it's got this tally light on the front of the microphone, which lets you know that the microphone's on when you're recording. So it's a, that's a great feature. I haven't seen that on any other microphone so far that I've used. It has got an auto switching on and off feature. So when the camera's off, it turns off. And when it's on, it turns on. So you know you're always safe in record. So along with those two initial features that I really like about it, it's got audio monitoring. So you can live monitor your audio, which is essential for podcasts. So you can hear what you're saying. So you know it's not peaking or the audio's working in the first place. The live audio monitoring also has a volume control with the dial so you can turn the volume up and down on the back of the microphone. It's got a built-in lithium-ion battery as well so you can keep it charged up as well as that auto on and off feature on the camera. So we, I wanted to bring it out just initially in like an outside environment. It doesn't come with a dead cat in the box. It comes with a bunch of cables like the USB-C cables connected via USB-C to computer. It comes with the phone cable 3.5 millimeter jack so you can connect it to your phone and the 3.5 millimeter to jack to connect to a camera um so yeah it comes with a bunch of accessories in the box it's really light it's quite compact it's not too big on top of the camera so yeah like i said initial impressions really really impressed so walking and talking with the osmo action 3 like this this could you know this could be my setup i'd hope i'm going to test it with the insta 360 one rs as well that has a USB-C port but whether or not I'll be able to connect a microphone to it via the USB-C port is another thing. I'll have to test that out because these cameras, this Action 3 is very similar to the Insta360 and then the Insta360 would allow me to record with 360 footage as well, which would be pretty phenomenal. So um, yeah, let's test that out. But yeah, this is a microphone. Testing one, two, three. Anyway, settings, normal. This is just as it comes. Walking and talking with the Action 3. Hopefully it sounds pretty good. I'm out of breath, man. I've been doing a lot of exercise recently, but I'm still getting out of breath. <laughs> Let's get back into a studio environment to compare it against the Rode Video Micro Pro Plus, which is a slightly more expensive microphone, but the one I've been using for the last three years to record in studio YouTube videos for this channel. Um, it's a really great sounding microphone. So I'm interested to see if this microphone being three years newer and a little bit cheaper and a little bit smaller and compact whether or not it sounds as good as the Rode microphone so I'm gonna go into the studio now and test that out let's go this is my usual microphone setup this is the Rode Video Micro Pro Plus I've had this for about three years now and this is what the audio sounds like coming out of that with the going straight into the camera the Canon R10 I've got the audio set to manual right down on the Canon microphone. So then I've got the settings on plus 20 dB on the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. So we're using the preamps from the microphone rather than the preamps from the camera. And this is what my usual setup is. I've been happy with this over the last three years. I want to compare it to the new Joby Wavo Plus to see if the audio compares to that, whether I can swap it out and use this instead. So we'll switch over to the Wavo Plus now. 
So this is coming from the Wavo Plus, and I've got it on plus 15 dB. So we're using the preamps from the microphone. So testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. This is a Joby Wavo Plus, and this uh, just in the same position right above me, just out of frame, so you can just not see it in the frame. So we're talking now with the Joby Wavo Plus, testing one, two, three. What does it sound like compared to the Rode Video Micro Pro Plus? I'd be impressed if it is the similar sort of quality because there's about a 50 pound difference. The road is about 220 pounds. This is 180 pounds. So yeah, about 40, 50 pounds difference. So hopefully it sounds pretty similar and about the same. So overall, a great microphone. I've been pretty impressed with it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, especially using it with something like an action camera because it's so small and compact and it gives you the other options to change all the settings of just like it would make a perfect camera to be using with sort of the action three or other action cameras out there so yeah really impressed and if you're after a microphone to up your level of your videos like it's like i said at the start of the video audio is just as important as good video so yeah really do recommend this microphone from joby if you do want to grab one there will be a link in the description down below and give this video a like it really does help subscribe because we've got plenty of new tech videos every single week so i really appreciate you thanks for watching that guys take it easy i'll see you on the next one bye